Konnichiwa, everybody. Hello. Oh, I'm exhausted today. Oh. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I, um... Uh... Oh, what's going on? My tech issues are today. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I actually overslept my alarms. Um, my phone had to run on the battery power over the night. So. everything. <laughs> what the? What? Where is everything? Hang on, let me sit down here. Oh. We. <laughs> there it is. There are the rats. But now I can't see Chad. Where did you guys go? I know. Oh my god, look at her. So <laughs> yeah, I'm with a squish of, right? I thought the artwork, I believe not, it's the for the three bucks. I played it pretty. Also, Robot Peter, thank you for the five gift memberships. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Yeah, I thought the artwork was really cute on the title screen, and then I saw it in motion, and it's even cuter in motion. It's so cute. Ah. Skunky, hello. Thank you for the far goody. So what's the game about? It's about rats. I, that, I, that's really it. I don't know too much about it. I only know that it's got something to do with like base management. As you can see, like, when the, the mice... It looks like a mouse. It doesn't look like a rat. Um, but it's called Rattopia, so they're, I'm assuming they're all rats. Um, it looks like they're building bases. But I don't know what they're building, because it looks like a tree trunk. And they're just building scaffolding around it. Oh, no, wait, no, it's a house. I thought they were just building, like, scaffolding around the tree trunk. And I was like, why did they do that? Kiran, hello. Thank you for the 13 months. Rat time. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry chat, I am exhausted today. Oh, I'm gonna wait a little bit for the coffee to kick in. Did I, the dads have another game called it Rat Top Rattopolis. Has the same drawing style. Oh, cute. EGM is a little loud. <laughs> okay, let's bring that down a bit. There we go. All right, is that better now? I think it does get loud at some point. Uh, some parts of the song when like it builds up to like a big loud crescendo. Okay. Spent the entire day working on something quite early here too. Uh... Oh. Made to the fall of the bone. Made literally fall off the bone ribs. Nice, let's go. All right, chat. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just tired. I'm, I'm always tired, but today I'm particularly more tired. Um, I thought I would be getting good sleep because I got home and I was like, oh look, it's like 11.30. I get to go to sleep before midnight early day. And I was just out. I was just completely out, but ugh. 
feel I don't feel exhausted. Or I don't feel sorry, I, I feel exhausted. I don't feel rested even after like what is it? Almost nine hours of sleeping. Ugh. Chad, you ever have one of those dreams where it's like It's like a continuation or like a replay? Like you know how people like when they watch Netflix, like the majority of the videos that most people watch on Netflix is like reruns like they just watch the things that they already know they enjoy and they're not watching new things right but it's like that like do you guys ever have those dreams where it feels like a rerun and you're like hmm i have dreamt this dream before right and like oh it was weird it, it was so weird yeah yep yep i've seen this one before nightmare saga growing up yeah so i had a dream today hang on i want to yeah the music i want to lower the music a little bit more <laughs> Okay, so I had a dream today that was just really odd. Like it, the, 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 how do I describe this? It was one of those dreams where like you, or I guess I should talk about me because it was my dream and like I was experiencing it. So like from my point of view, it was like I went back to run in high school and was like hanging out with my friends and but like we weren't like high school age the dream was like me going back to high school but like we were like our age so we were like in our like all our 30s right and we had like gathered up and it was kind of like a reunion type of stuff and then i tried to ask my then best friend if they remembered me and they couldn't and i don't know why but like that bothered me so much because they were able to remember everyone else except for me so like they were listing off all these names of people and like mind you like i haven't thought about high school in 15 years 15 ish years right so i'm like what's what's going on like why why is this the case right and and then there was this whole th like weird arc about like the high school being run by like this really evil person and there's this giant maze that was constructed outside of high school and I had to like escape it but like I've already been through the maze a couple times so it was easy to get through the maze um but like just the the whole thought of like not being able to like keep in touch with like folks from like friends from back in high school it was weird I don't know like uh I don't know why that bothered me so much, but I woke up and I was like, wow, I'm in a terrible mood today because of that dream. And I wanted to go like slap the, whoever the dream master is, like who decides on giving me these dreams. Like, all right, it's a Tuesday. Shouldn't we could use this dream? And then like, you know, drops it in, right? I'm gonna go smack him across the face. <laughs> but yeah. Ah. <sighs> missing old friends that's that's the thing though like i don't really miss people like i don't have any like feeling in my mind about missing people like if i like see them daily then it's like it's okay i guess but like i don't miss miss people i think um but it's not even that it, it's just the fact that i wasn't remembered you know <laughs> like that was what bothered me the most the dream master is your own brain ah <sighs> I'm gonna go smack my brain. Like, stop being silly. But yeah, um, I don't know. I don't know how many people still talk to their people, talk to people from high school, so maybe they're feeling nostalgic. Maybe. I don't know. It's just, like, in my everyday waking lives, like, I have to actively go out of my way to, like, write down things. Like, that's why during Expo, during the meet and greets, I had to bring paper with me. Um, like, pen and paper to, like, physically write down who I saw so I don't forget. Um, but, like, on, a, on the daily, I don't really miss thinking about people. I don't know. Or, like, I don't, I don't think about people in that kind of way. <laughs> it's odd. But yeah. Actually, it's Monday for me, but then I realize you're a day ahead of me. That's right. Time zones are funny. Time zones. Oui, sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Well. Why? Um. 
Hopefully it doesn't get in the in the way of today's game. We have this cute rat to play Ratopia with. Oui. Alright. Ah, give it just a bit. Yeah, clear my nose out real quick. Yeah. Alright, there we go. I think we're okay. I only, really, I only miss people if I was really close to them. Yeah, same. Something like that. Dreams are weird. They really are. We need to give the super chat. I feel like it's a good time to remind you that you're not alone. You're loved very much. Ah, thank you. Thank you. With the super glee. Well, uh, speaking of the hugging emotes, every single night, chat, every single night, ever since I got the Punika plushie, I've been cuddling it and going to sleep with it. Every single night. Wow. There's like, you know how Punika is kind of like water drop shaped? Because like Punika is chunky on the front, then on the back, right? But the hat is like tilted to one side. On Punika's left side, it's like smooth. It is like smooth. So like I love to rub my face against like Punika's smooth side because it's like the hat is one on one side and then the other side is like empty, right? So I just like shove my face in it. It's so smooth, it's so soft. When does Punika end up in the morning when we wake up? <laughs> uh, Punika usually ends up next to my pillow, like head level, often just staring at me. Um, that's usually where Punika ends up. Call them up, call them a break to fire bit on their hat to cuddle them. Yeah, I'm over, like I like it's stuck on there very precariously. <laughs> But yeah, it's a very cute plushie. I like it so much. Ah, yeah. uh, point of view. You wake up. Oh, cute. All right, Chad. I have babbled on long enough. Hopefully, the cute rats will improve my route today. Very adorable. I want to pat the hair thing. I am. I'm interested about the hair thing. I don't know how the hair thing works with rats because like these guys, this rat here and this rat here doesn't seem to have any hair, but this rat does. Like, I don't know, Joan of Arc style, Queen Elizabeth style, I don't know, like, it's got like the, the hair thing going on. Like this one in the back here doesn't have hair either. So like, is it like a genetic thing? Archaeotic Basupa, King Phantom Vice is scary, not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, it's a wig. That'd be cute. Start setting. Leader. Elizabeth Wrath. Oh, it's cute. Oh, that's adorable. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, it's so cute. Elizabeth Wrath? Noble hair? Combed hair. Permed hair. Aww. Short hair. Ooh. Top knot. Studying hair. What is studying hair? A short tail. French brain. A rough ponytail. Ooh. Wait, but these are all really cute. <laughs> Also, like a good chunk of the ponytail is blocked out by by the big ears. <laughs> studying hair. Oh, is that like when you tie your hair back because you need to focus on studying? You can go with this one, rough ponytail, because that kind of looks like my hairstyle. Look at that. It's kind of cute. Oh. All right. The face. Basic face. Cute face. Sharp face. A brusque face. A noble face. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my god, it's all of it so cute. <laughs> I kind of really like this face, though. I really like this face. I don't know. There's something about this face that I think is really adorable. It's not like angry or annoyed, but it's just kind of like when you have, you know, RBF, right? But it's like, you're not actually mad, you just have RBF. I think like that's really cute though. The little pouty, I like the fact that the mouth turns into the little upside down, like 
uh, a little, is it the, what's it called? Exponent? Exponent symbol? The little, uh, the little sideways alligator sign. It's called, uh, I forgot what it is. The sign that's like to the power of something, like in the numbers, like the little upside down, upside down V. Yeah, that one. Um, shift six on the keyboard. <laughs> Up arrow, there we go. Yeah, when it turns into that, I think it's really cute. I want to give pets. Oh, carrot? Is that a called carrot? Shouldn't carrots be like a V? Like upside down? Why is it pointing up? Okay, fine, it's a carrot. Alright, yeah, the little carrot. That's really cute. Oh. Oh, it's adorable. <laughs> fur. <gasps> what are these? Plagued fur? Survive a year in heart difficulty. Operate in more than 30 ratrons. Oh, metallic fur. That's kind of cute. Whoa. White fur. Gray fur. Brown fur. I heard something about like the type, the two types of rats in like New York City. There's like gray, like gray rats, and then brown rats, and like they apparently have different personalities. Oh, this is so cute! What a brown, brown, gray. They're all cute though. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Next fan, thank you for the seven vibes. Glad you're streaming again. Hope you're enjoying Japan. Be sure to eat dango and lots of dango and onigiri. Yeah! I've been really enjoying dango. I like uh, mitarashi dango. That's been my favorite so far. I'm not upset, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> I kind of want to go with brown fur. Or maybe gray? White is also really cute too. I'll just go gray fur. I'll go gray fur. Oh, it's really cute. The giant rats, the rats of New York City are unusual size. The one, the video that keeps playing in my head is that one rat that is carrying a slice of pizza that is like twice its body size, like body, yeah, size. And it's just dragging them down the stairs and then just like runs away with it, right? Like, oh my God, that's amazing. So later, thank you for the six months. Quite a quite getting into amateur VA again. Just got a roll. Wanted to share this happy moment. Also, best uncle is Mitarashi. Let's go! Congratulations! <gasps> I hope you have fun. I hope you have fun. Congrats, congrats. Good luck with the VA. Yeah. Pizza rat. Yeah, pizza rat. All right. Clothing. Basic cloth. Villager cloth. Gray cloth. It says gray cloth, but it just looks like armor. <laughs> it looks like just plain armor. Red cloth. Ooh, I kind of like that one. Green cloth. Ooh, wait, I kind of like this one. This is kind of cool. I like the contrast of it. Ooh. But like the size of the blue ones are kind of longer right there. Like right here. I want to go with, hmm, you know what? I'm going to stick with the red one. I have, I have good vibes about this red one. Character. Prestigious scholar. Plus 20% experience, plus three research points. I don't know what these mean. Natural born warrior. Attack power, maximum health. Moving speed and capacity. Oh! <gasps> City's idol? Migrant ability plus one, city happiness plus one. Wait, you can be an idol? Ooh. Prodigal noble. Initial savings 3,000. A loan number limit plus one. No, I don't want to take any more loans. I already have too many loans. I have to pay back. No more loans. <laughs> I'm going to stick with the idol. We're going to stick with the idol. Chad, can you imagine that? Like this kind of an idol? That has like this kind of face where they're like just really tired and they're like exhausted with everything, but they're like, okay, fine, I'm still an idol, so I still have to do my job. Like, I love this. I love this style. And it's so cute. Oh my god. A grumpy idol, right? Oh, there's something about it that's really cute. I love like the, the little the gap. 
Oh man. Okay, apply and exit. Next. Settlement. Matopia. Okay, I wanna change this to Elysium. Oh, Elysium. Just because it's it's consistent. <laughs> Starting season is spring. Grass field. Precipitation. Seed. What the heck? Oh my gosh. There's so many different options you could change at the beginning. Rat Lucium. Rat Lucia. There we go. It's the it's the alternate reality. Alternate timeline of Elysia where everything is rats. <laughs> Under development. Yeah, these look like they're not finished finished yet, but they might come out later. What's precipitation? It's like the amount of rain you get. Like rainfall. It's not snow because snow isn't like liquid water, but it'd be like liquid the amount of liquid water you get. Yeah. Alright. Apply an exit. Flag. Ratless. Oh, this is cute. Oh my god. Ooh, there's a fish. Are there more fishes or is it just that fish? I wonder if there's like a specific koi fish. Let's see. I don't see. Uh, oh, these are really cute. Oh. Okay, I don't see like a specific koi fish, but I do have the. We do have the fish now. Cute. Oh, the little smiley flower. This looks like a spider. I love it. Oh, it's so chunky. I don't know what this is. What is that? A snail? Oh, that is a snail. It's a snail from the front view. Oh, that's so weird. Cthulhu? Wait, no, that's a spider too, but it's spider from the top view. The face is pointing down. This is spider face pointing up. And then this is a snail from the front view. Oh puppy oh this is crying octopus fox fox is this a fish it kind of looks like a fish from the top view it's like fish from the side view fish from the top view because you can see the, like the little fins fish top view i kind of like this one because it's very obviously a fish like you see this and you're like okay fish it's it's very easily readable as a fish i like that Oh, cute. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll see what the other stuff is. Emblem color. Oh, wait, is it orange? Light brown? Brown. I think we can use... Here, we'll go with brown and then we'll make the other thing around it brighter. Flag color. Orange. Yeah, there we go. Wait, hold up. Is it like a gold? Uh, flag shape, emblem color. Is it like a gold? Yellow, kind of? To kind of match my pins, you know? I'm thinking like my pins. <laughs> so you have like the orange jacket and then like the, the fish emblem itself is golden color. Like it's yellow, but like we'll pretend it's gold. So it'll be like the pin, right? Flag shape, is there like a fish shape? That looks like a bib. This is kind of tattered. Ooh. I don't know what the significance of these shapes are. I kind of like this one because it looks like a ticket. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, I still, I like this one because it looks like a ticket. I don't know why. I, I like this vibe. The the little, ta like the tassels, I think, is that what they call tassels on the bottom? It looks like a ticket that you would buy at like a, a amusement park or something. I like it. All right, frame color. Ooh, we should make it like darker. It's like a darker orange. It's not dark enough. Oh, we could use blue, kind of, to get like the the blue accents on myself as well. A darker blue or a lighter blue? I wish I could do like a gradient. That'd be kind of cool. But the teal color. <gasps> Ooh, mint. Mint! Aww. <sighs> Wait, that's actually nice. I like that. I like mint. Yes! It's cute. I like that. Yeah. Alright, pattern. Empty pattern. Ooh. 
Wave. Are there like waves? I wonder if that's like wavy. Whoa. Oh, these are so intricate. What the heck? Oh my goodness. Oh, little hearts. Cute. Okay. No, I don't see any waves. There's nothing that's like curvy. I'm sad. Where are the waves? Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. What if we did it this way? Ah, it's kind of, it, it, it focuses too much on the thing. Hmm. I wish, I wish there was like waves. Circle like a fishbowl. A fishbowl is gonna be, the concept of a fishbowl would be cute. Hmm, that's too much of the pattern color and not enough of the vein color. Uh, polka dots? These are hearts, not polka dots, but this kind of looks like my pants. <laughs> He cooked cook the ratatouille. I demand to know. Bobby, <laughs> thank you for the soup. Uh, thank you. Wait, but this is kind of cute. If I did red hearts? I don't know why, but this kind of pattern of hearts almost makes it just look like pants. Like underwear. It, it gives underwear vibes. Hmm. I wonder, is there like a... Horizontal one? Maybe we could choose like some of these. These are way too intricate though. <laughs> Maybe we'll just go with the hearts. Yeah, the cartoon heart underwear. Yeah, that's what it gives vibes of. Wait, what if we did... What if we did this? What if we changed this to orange? And then change the flag color to that? So it looks like there's orange hearts now. See, we can invert the colors this way. So it's not blue hearts, it's orange hearts. And it makes the orange hearts stand out a bit more against the blue background, as opposed to having blue background with orange heart, uh, blue, instead of, instead of blue hearts on an orange background, it's orange hearts on a blue background. Night at Sammy, thank you for the super. I'm sick with the flute, thank you for the cozy stream. Oh no, I hope you recover soon. Please get well soon. But that's what they get you. The bottommost border was cooking. The bottommost border. This one? It looks too elvish to me. Like these look like they these look way too like elvish. Like this one especially looks elvish. Kinda like the hearts though. The hearts are cute. <laughs> we'll stick with the hearts this time. Okay. Difficulty. Oh. Wait. Ah, this is the Golden Plains. Build a peaceful kingdom on a land free of threats. Free of threats. Plenty of food. Abundant resources. Harmonious radisins without quarrels. Aw. Radisins? Aw. That's a dumb way to do, say that. Peaceful land. Inhabitants are kind. All be pleased here without much to consume. Some say there's no heaven on earth, but it might be possible here. Rebellion Threshold? 10? 15? 20? Oh my god! What? Okay. Land filled with plagues. The city will be filled with disgruntled medicines. Yes, the world is full of misery. Still, one might build a kingdom on the godforsaken land and prove oneself as the rightful leader. So initial savings... Uh, invasion cycle? Invasion density? Rebellion Threshold. Oh my god, you can change so many things! <laughs> Resources, research points, migrant ability, migrant shift frequency, number of addisons, happiness bonus. Rebellion Threshold, crime frequency, crime frequency! Hygiene decline rate, joy decline rate, enemy bases, invasion intensity, Activate Digger? What? <laughs> what are they digging? A disaster frequency? Oh my goodness. Not the rat crimes. We'll go with normal. We'll stick with normal. Because I have no idea. I've never played this game before. So yeah, rat crimes. Tutorial activated. What should we call it? Should we change the name of 
Elizabetha? What should we what should we name ourselves if we're changing Elizabetha? Ah, oh, give me just a minute. I'm gonna go get some coffee real quick because I need to get coffee inside my blood right now. Shin rat? Is that shin rat? <laughs> rat bastard, hello to give with the super. Finally a game I can get behind. <laughs> Give me this with uh, Shin Rat. Nesuiji Battery. Shin Rat. Okay, I see Shin Rat a lot, so. Nesuiji. Wait, that's kind of cute. That's kind of adorable. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Okay. Wait. Nezuiji Shinrat. Like <laughs> Josu Cheesy? Wait, that one's cute too. Josuiji Josu Cheesy. It's adorable. Gosh, wait, there's these like rat baby names are really cute. What the heck? <laughs> okay, but we'll we'll stick with Nezuiji Shinrat. Alright. Confirm. Ah, oh, this is really cute. <laughs> Neza cheesy, we're gonna do that. Is that what we're gonna do? Neza cheesy. Nezu cheesy. Can I even put that? Oh, I can. If we can, oh my god. All right. I didn't realize you could put that. I thought that would be like a limit to how many characters you could put into the name, but I guess not. <laughs> All right, Chad, let us begin. I'm gonna start. Let's find out what kind of game this is and how, how difficult it's gonna be. I'm gonna watch my entire city fall apart. Oh, the loading screen is so cute. I wonder how far I've gone. Finally, those assassins seem to be giving up, but my loyal subjects are all gone too. I guess I'll have to stay here and brace myself. Perhaps this place might become a new home. The animations, wait, the little animations are really cute. <laughs> oh. Wait, so I've been like, I've been pursued and chased by assassins. Interesting. <laughs> And I lost all my subjects, so we had to, I guessing we had to rebuild. Oh. Oh. Wait. Wait. Did it... Did it crash? No, it didn't crash. The, the mouse is still going. <laughs> No, wait. <laughs> we didn't even get to like the first save checkpoint yet. What? Uh, did, oh no. It's loading the key damage is taking a while. No. Oh, wait. Wait. Huh? I think, okay, I'm pressing escape, but it's opening up a menu, but I can't see the menu. <laughs> I can't see anything either. It's a black screen for me too. <laughs> no, I can't see anything. Um, Hang on. No, it doesn't. Ah, oh, I think I had to restart it. Okay. Darn it. No. Wait, that means we lose all our progress, right? Because it didn't even save. So. Wait. 
Oh man. <laughs> oh. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. There we go. Ratopia. One more time. One more time. All right. Load game? No. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. Okay, it still saves. Okay, it still saved all of it. Okay, okay, that's good. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, the face. Okay, let's try. One more time. Here we go. Oh, wait, I see something. Oh, let's go! Oh. Oh, this is cute! <laughs> Your Highness, how are you faring? If you're able to, try using wands and space to move around. Ooh. Use the mouse to move your cursor around to aim at a target. Try, try to look around. Oh! Okay. Oh, that's cute! <clears throat> Terrific. I guess you totally are. you are totally fine. All the interactions are based on aim, so remember to m the mouse as well. From now on, I'll teach you what you might not be used to, so follow my directions. Okay. Oh, you get to... <gasps> it gives you, like, Terraria feels? Wait, hold up. I think I'm blocking a few elements, so, like, let me move myself out of the way. <clears throat> there we go. Like that. Yeah. Firstly, let me teach you how to interact with objects, starting with how to gather. With the left mouse button, you can interact with the objects in the aimed area. Interaction includes various actions, and gather is one of those. Try to move, aim, and interact to gather logs in the broadleaf tree. Oh, this is cute! Oh my god. There'll be many times that objects are in the same spot as this. In such a moment, simply use tab to aim at the intended object. Try using tab now. Oh, you get to pick, like, which one you want to interact with. Okay. While holding onto items, actions other than putting the items are not possible. To perform other interaction, please use X to drop the items first. Oh, wait, did I put them in here? <gasps> Let's go! Great work. When now fully removed, plants will grow back after some time. Next is mining. You can mine with the left click. Mine to get resources from tiles. Move, aim, and interact to get dirt. I put it in storage. Oh, wait. Wait, this is really cute. Oh, Okay, dirt. And grain. Only a single type of items a certain number can be held at once. Ah, okay, okay. I wonder if we can... Oh, wait, so I'm guessing we get, like, more people? More vans? Well done, but beware not to dig too deep, you might not be able to get out. Now using resources, try building a structure. To build, follow the three steps. Blueprint, resources, build. Press Q to open command and place a ladder. Build, base, ladder. Uh, I don't know how this works. Do I put it on the thing that I want to climb or next to the thing I want to climb? I guess over here. Like that. And then... <laughs> Is that it? Well done. Only when resources are stored can blueprints be placed. When there are radisons, they would supply and build, but right now, right now you should do it yourself. Whenever you've misplaced a blueprint, you can cancel with cancel order. When the blueprint is placed on tiles, they have to be mined before construction. Use F on storage to take resources for the blueprint. Oh, okay, okay. So, we take... 
Most structures can be checked with details as f as you've done. Use the structures function, press, please use wasd and e, then use e to check the resources. Okay. Ooh. You put or take out what you're holding or what is stored. Okay, so we need to use grass to build ladders. Dirt, water, grass. Dirt, logs, grass, grain. It's a food? Consumer types? Price? Oh my gosh. Recipe, water, bone powder, but why are these? Grain farm, wild wheat, effect is fruit plus 20. Oh my gosh, I love this. Wait. Hey. Oh, I can only hold three. Okay. All right, now that we have these, let's go build our ladder. Aim to place them, put the items in use left click. Aim at the storage and press left to put in the resources. Okay. Wait, let me go scoop these things up. Blueprint becomes ready to build. Interact with the ready to build to finish building. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me let me put all this away. I need to go I have to go put these away. It's gonna bother me if they're not like Okay. Let's go. I bet you've not been used I'm not Wait, I bet you've not been used to it before, but ladders are quite helpful to climb up and down. Remember that only tile objects such as ladders, blocks, and roofs can be placed in midair. Guess you learned the basics well enough. Since you know the basics, let's get to, let's bring the wandering Vatisons to the city. To do so, a city entrance is needed. But why don't we build one? Royal structures. Ooh, wait, hold up, hold up, wait. Before we build that, I want to finish building the the ladders. Okay, not the grains. Uh, wait. One, one, two, three. Okay, let's go finish building these. It's really cute. Okay. Wait, where? Oh, there it is. Uh, grass. Pick up, pick up. Okay. Oh, you can build things at a distance. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, before we go there, we're gonna we're gonna finish building up the ladders. Oops. Okay. Can I aim? Okay. Oh wait, I don't need to I don't need to do all this. Okay. Uh how do I How do I cancel this again? Build? Royal? Oh wait, no, this is the city entrance. City entrance. Not enough resources. Okay, I need to get Three rocks first. Okay, okay, let's do that. How do I cancel the buildings again? Build. Uh, base. Ladder. I don't have enough in storage. Oh no! Chat, this is complicated. Okay. Uh. Wait, hold up. How do I. <laughs> Is the game a little loud? Okay, we can drop it down a little bit. Cancel. Oh, there we go. Okay, canceling. There. Now, now it's not as messy. Okay. Let's go put those away. And now we have to get some rocks. But I don't want to dig straight down. I guess we'll... I guess we will. Okay. Break this down here. Get some rocks here. Okay. Rocks three. One, two, three. We can jump up this one kind of block area. Enable to act the holding items. Okay, okay. Oh, the tree is done. Okay, store these in there first. And then after we store them in there, we can build the city entrance. Where other objects are located, blueprints cannot be placed. If you place blueprints on the natural tiles, mine order will be placed. Keep in mind that the build, most of the city structures, ground to... Wait, like the city entrance, ground fit to the structure's horizontal size is needed. Oh! Wait, but where do I put it? Oh no! I... To put... I guess we'll put it right next to it? 
for now. I don't know where to put it. I don't know where the optimal place to put it is. <laughs> okay, so from there, we take out two, three stone. We deposit the stone there. We're missing three logs. So we go back onto three logs from storage. And now we can start building it. Finally, it's time to accept some migrants. Aim, aim the city's entrance. Use F to accept migrants and make them radisons of the city. Oh, look, they're knocking on the... Oh, cute! What? Various groups of migrants have visited the city's entrance. However, accepting several groups at once could have unforeseen uh, consequences. Thus, there is no other choice than to accept a single group at a time. Before accepting, press F to check the details. Please choose whom to live with. <gasps> Ooh, Chloe, Street Poet, there's Gary, Lost Adventurers, Lala and Leah. Wait a minute, this is cute. Oh my god. It's really cool. Okay, so they can tell you, like, oh, they're quiet. Joy decline rate is 30%. Conservative. Happiness negative 3 for 3 days when policies get added or deleted. Oh, they don't like change, okay. Extravagant. Necessities decline rate is increased by 30%. Happiness negative 3, negative 5 for 3 days when passing the leader. What? What do they mean by passing the leader? Like, if I walk past them, do they see me and they're like, Grr, I don't like you, and then they just get angry. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Experience gain is 30% down. Cry when happiness is below 40. Pessimistic, just straight up happiness negative 30. Or negative 3. It's just by default. There's no conditions. You're just unhappy. But also quick. 10% move speed. <laughs> but they also come with resources. That's actually kind of nice. It's kind of it's kind of cool that some of them come with resources. Ooh, wait. Okay, I'm gonna stick with this one here because there's two Radisons, and we can we can make the Radisons start working for us, and have two people like going at it, right? Leah has no stats. Wait, hold up, hold up, back. Oh, like fist, wing, brain. No stats, but two brain here. Lola has all the brain cells between this. Wait, but they also have a lot of money that they're bringing with us, too. Press F for details. Oh, it just tells you what the whole thing is. All of their, all of their like, stats. <clears throat> yeah, it just tells you what these, uh, these, like, status effects, like, perks, I guess? Oh, wait. I think we'll do this one for now, just because Lola thinks for Leah. <laughs> you might have to feed them or something. You don't want dead weight. This is true, but maybe they can be gatherers. They can maybe they can gather resources for us. I want to. I just want to stick with these two because we have two people. Also, that's a lot of money. Almost three hundred gold, two sixty gold. Let's see if we can get them to work. Lola took all the brain cells. No. <laughs> all right. We want to grow our city, our uh, Ratopia, quickly. So for now, let's get these two workers. Workers? Radisons? I don't know. <gasps> the accepted migrants become Radisons of the new city and follow your orders. Radisons work with certain priorities. Job, build, gather, mine, and transport. The best way to modify their actions is to assign Radisons to a certain structure. Currently, there's no job, so give the gather order using Q to make the Radisons gather grains. Gather. You can order gather by aiming and selecting a target. While using the mouse, you can control the area to order various targets. Anything within the area is possible to be gathered and ordered to be gathered. Use tab to cancel orders. This function can be used on other orders too. Oh, okay, okay. So we like gather everything here, all of this. It's like the wheat, the flowers, the grass, and the wood. All of it. Right? I, I guess? Do they... 
Oh, look at it go. Okay, so they prioritize a tree first. Ah. Wait, but this is really cute. Like this base management. I love this base management kind of stuff. Oh. Look at him go. Terrific, but most of the plant objects grow over time, so consider whether to remove them for space or wait for the next harvest. Objects of grains can be used as foods for radisons. When starved too much, radisons might die. <gasps> oh no. Please supply enough food to prevent such happenings. In addition, radisons happiness will be affected by hygiene and joy. Let's build a toilet for hygiene. Toilet is in the services structures. Wait, you gotta build toilets too? Build. Services. Toilet. But we need one more dirt. Okay. So while they're doing that, let's go... I think I have some dirt here. Yeah, dirt. Okay. Drop that in there. Now that we have all the resources we need, let's go build. Hey, hey, thank you for the super. They're so cute. They are. They're so precious. Service effect. Unique effect to the structure given to the customers. Price, 5. Capacity, 1. Effect hygiene plus 20. Wait, when it says price, am I paying for it or are they paying me? I don't know what the price means. <laughs> a place to empty bowels, wash hands. Let's have a national washed hands week. Oh, it's really cute. Oh my god. Okay, feature. Size of the structure is a 2x2. Two two. Requires ground to be activated. Construction expense. Money paid to the Ratizen who built this, who built the structure. Oh, the Ratizen gets paid. Okay, let's let's find out. Let's find out. Um. Uh. It needs to be on the ground, but there's like no space. Put it. Do we put it? We can move them afterwards, right? I wanna I'm gonna assume that we can move them afterwards and then just pull them right here. <laughs> okay, wait, what do we need again? Four dirt and one log. Okay, four dirt. One, two, three. I can only carry three, so we'll do that. Oh, on the G menu, you can check various information about the city. With statistics, you can check the information about the city's prosperity, savings, rise in structure, resources, and policies. Research check lets you Check information on the research list, even if you cannot begin the research. Okay, so that's there. Research list, and then with leader, you can check your condition, abilities, and the equipment you're using. With the filter, you're able to check cities and radisons with your bias lenses. Check alarm feature, you can check the radisons corresponding to various alarms. Function in the G menus are not essential, but used very well can be hit. But used very well are, used well are very helpful. Please get used to this menu leader. Okay. Wait, research. <gasps> oh my god, you get this so much. What? Wait, these are just regular bases. Beds. Medibed. For health recovery, a soft bed, a luxurious bed. A bunk bed. Bed for two. Oh, it's cute. It requires seven hours of research. I don't know if that's... That's gotta be in-game time, right? That's, that can't be IRL time. There's no way it's seven, seven 7.8 hours of real time. <laughs> Gathering. A hunter's hut. A place to hunt down wild animals. Water tank. Silvy culture pot. Post? Wait, what? Logging camp? A butchery? Weaving mill? Oh my god, this is... What? Why is this so involved? Pharmacy kiln? We can't even get to this part? What the heck? Grinder. Handicraft workshop? A small workshop for dexterous citizens. Produces various necessities. What? It can make candles? Gum? Chewy gum with funny flavor. The joy of chewing helps forget hunger. 
Food and joy decline rate is... Oh my gosh. Paper? What? I thought this was a cute game, not Capitalism Simulator. <laughs> grilled meat, grilled mushroom, grilled fish, steak, pasta. What? Oh my god, this is so involved. Shoes, leather sack, paper, a dye workshop. Different colored dyes. Toilet, school, hospital, flea removal facility, service, tiny frogs hopping around, seemingly harmless but no one knows when touched. It provides frog, chat, it provides a frog. Service effect, maximum health plus 20, hygiene, oh, it has like limited number of uses. Requires a worker to be activated. Is it cute? There's a school! It produces tool. And what does it do? Intelligence plus 3 and joy plus 10. Oh my god. Arena. Health minus 7 but attack power up. What? These are so cool. <gasps> There's a pub! Food plus 20 but joy decline. Oh, and joy decline rate. What? Oh my gosh. A music stage. Intelligence plus one. Hair shop. Dexterity moose feet plus one. What? These are so cute. Oh my god. Wait, what are these other ones too? <gasps> squad headquarters. Effect. Form a squad to give direct orders. Ooh. Temple of war. Skirmisher, a soldier using jungle speed, evades enemy's attack, dodge rate 50. Warrior, a soldier using jungle power, knocks enemies back, slows enemies. What? Iron gate, explosive barricade, rat in a box. <laughs> rat in a box. Knocks back target in a specific direction. Oh, the art is really cute. It's like a little rat getting punched. <laughs> A web launcher, poison trap. There's more that we haven't unlocked either. Small picture, torches, wooden boxes, sculptures. A marble throne? You need silk and stone bricks. Ooh. A beautiful throne made of stone. As I sit here, gazing upon all, you all shall obey. Code stone? A huge stone to attack announce new laws. All laws such as taxes, commercial, and welfares can be set. Allows the setup of new policies for the city. Oh my god. Maintenance office? Restores the health of nearby buildings that have been damaged. Shrine of Rat. A shrine dedicated for sacred rat. By the power of rat, skills can be used. Leader can use new skills. Why? These are amazing. <laughs> royal wardrobe? Royal forge? What? A grave. A place to lay dead rats in. Prevents a possible epidemic. Prevents a possible epidemic? Oh, that's right. The rotting bodies, I guess, like that changes the... Hygiene? Crematory? Beware, what is burned never comes back. Burn what has been stored. Cemetery. Body transportation carries a body to the structure to store. Radisson register? Prison? Imprison criminals for a certain amount of time to re-socialize. Oh my god, what is this? Galen, hello, the gift with the 10 gifted membership. Thank you. Can I get some hearts to check for Galen with the gifted memberships? Thank you, thank you. God. This is so involved. Yeah, rat crimes are real. Um. Uh. Let's unlock the wooden block. Only research can be done by using research desk. Okay, okay. Oh! 
Wait, they build the things on their own? Oh, they do build the things on their own. Maintaining enough service facilities is key to maintaining Radisson's happiness. Radisson's consume necessities and distinguish themselves into classes by how much goods and wealth they are holding. But knowledge after we got, but the knowledge we got after the catastrophe is not even enough to fulfill the basic needs of joy. So now it's time to build a research table and research for the people, the city, and mostly for yourself. You'll need some lumber, build a sawmill to process wood. Oh my god. Why is this tutorial so involved? There's so much already. Oh, okay, we need two dirt. Um, Dirt. Dirt. Wait. I don't want to use, like... Oh, no. I feel I feel like I'm stuck already. Okay. Wait, let's see. Let's what, What's over here? Oh, this is a giant tree. Tree skin? Tree, tree skin? In an impossibly tidy mouse voice. That's the one, officer. That's the one who stole my cheese. <laughs> hip hip right. Thank you for this, you five. Grass seed gain, research point. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a timer over here. Oh. Okay, okay. Wait, uh... How do I... How do I collect dirt without, like, getting through all this... Like, do I dig through here? Can we go f further this way, maybe? We can collect some... Ooh. New migrants have arrived. Wait, what is this? Den of Plagues. Den of Plagues? It's a bunny! Oh my god, what? there's so much stuff. Okay, let's let's take dirt from from here. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know where we could take dirt from that's safe. Okay. <laughs> Okay, order, uh, gather all of this again because it just respawned. Wait, hold up, we can, we can, we can do all this, right? Yeah, collect all of that. Uh, check migrants. It's already the second time visit welcoming visitors. They've all seemed fine to settle down. Whenever there's none you like or no space in the city, use escape to postpone the decision. Wanderers, fallen nobles, what? Wait, they also bring raw meat? You know, where'd you bring the raw meat from? Okay, moving speed minus 10, happiness negative 5 for one day's after paying attacks. Wait, this one is cry when happiness is below 40, small appetite so they eat less food. Food decline rate, big appetite, so they eat faster. When passing the leader, hygiene decline rate, happiness. Why are they also pessimistic? <laughs> Butchery presents you fresh meat. Any animal can be slaughtered for this. We won't ask Yuna where Yuna got the fresh meat. Hang on, I want to go with this one again because there's more rats. We want to. I want to fill up my city a bit more. <gasps> they automatically start working too. Let's go! Oh my goodness! Wait, this is why is this so cute? Okay, build production sawmill. It's a two by three structure that needs to be on the ground, right? Um. Where do we put it? I don't know where to put it. There's always like there's all these resources I don't want to get rid of too. <laughs> hmm. Well, we have to expand eventually, so I guess we'll just like build it on on top of this area. Okay, let me go. Drop this back in there. Ah. Uh, we can dig, but like, if I dig this, because they're all they're using it as a step, can they still climb up? <gasps> they can climb up. Okay, okay. Let's dig this way. Like this? And then clear out some space. Can you still climb up? They can. 
Okay, okay, good, good, good. Wait, this is... I can see myself playing this. Okay, my dream right now is to get this place to be completely self-sufficient so that everything operates on its own for, like, just automatically. And then I can just sit back and watch the city kind of go. I want to get to that point. Okay. There we go. Okay, well, you know what? We should also have them gather these two. Oh no, it doesn't work. Okay, uh, Q, build, production, sawmill. Nice. Alright. There we go, and then... <gasps> Yeah, let's build it! Your automation dreams, I know. Use F to build a sign of Madison to work. In some structures, resources gathered and produced can be selected. However, most structures do not operate without Madison's. Try deploying Madison's first to get the structure running. Okay. Oh no! It's so detailed, Chad. Assigned Radisons can be changed whenever needed, however, work progress will be reset. Efficiency 105? 100, 100. 105, 110? Wait, why? Oh, it tells you right here, the little... the fist here? Like, I'm guessing it's strength? No strength, so their efficiency is 100%. One strength, so 105. Two strength, so 110. Oh... Okay, let's assign Lena to it. And then work is one log turns into two planks. Okay, there's Lena. And then Lena goes over there. Oh, that's really cute. Oh my god, that's so cute. Wait, chat, why is this so cute? <laughs> oh my god. New migrants have arrived. Wait, is there like a population limit? Oh, there it is at the top. We have 4 out of 20. Check migrants. No, I want to keep going with a double. I want to max out. I want to max out my population as fast as I can so that we have as many workers as possible. I and Nancy. Happiness. Foolish. That's fine. Uh. Speed 2. Strength 2. Intelligence 1 1. We'll go with this. Yeah, 20 for max. We have 6 rats out of 20. Lumber gained. Oh, <laughs> it's sleepy. Look at Lola. Oh my god. Did you see that? Getting sleep plus one? Wait, that's really cute. Oh. Oh my god, that's adorable. Okay, okay, wait, hang on. Uh gather all of these again. All of that. Yeah. Go my rat army, go! Harvest all the materials. <laughs> Sleepy she, thank you for the orange super. Hey Shibi, just wanted to share that it's my birthday, technically not on Wednesday. I know you have your day off tomorrow, but want to celebrate now while you're here. The best kami Oshi to spend it with. Aw, Sleepy Sheep. Thank you so much for the super chat. And happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hope you enjoy and treat yourself to something nice, drink something tasty. Congratulations on surviving with the trip around the sun. Happy birthday! We all right. Time to build a research desk. Build royal research desk. Oh, royal bed. Speci specially designed for royal families. Okay. Uh, research desk. We should clear out some more space. Just a little bit more. This is really cute, though. Look at him go! Oh my god. Wee. <laughs> Hi, Rika, hello! Thank you so much for reaping the membership game with 8 months. 
Shouldn't me, I hope you have a great, great day today. Thank you. Thanks so much, upgrade, upgrade. Thank you for keeping that membership. I hope everyone has a great day. All right, let's clear this out. And it looks like they can jump up on this two block, uh, like gap. So I'm gonna dig down here, like this. Oh, that's cute. So this way, there's like a three, like a two, two ball gap like that that they can jump up on. What are these things? <gasps> there are rabbits here. A rabbit hole? Rabbit? What can I do with the rabbits? I can't do anything with the rabbits. It won't let me do anything. Rabbit? No, I can't do anything. Okay, okay. Oh, look at the go! <laughs> Royal, okay, research desk. Let's put the research desk here. And they should automatically bring some of the... Oh, there is I with the logs. The planks. Let's go! Oh my god, I love this. Oh, New migrants. New migrants. Somi, Nero, Stephanie, and Hannah. Okay, we need to back this out more. Cooperationist. Plus five when member of the largest social... Wait. Plus five happiness when Hannah is a member of the largest group in the social class. There are social classes. And there are groups within social classes. <laughs> what? Wait, what is this one? Skillful. Production efficiency plus 20. Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll go with it. She literally bougie. Oh, Lena. Does awesome. a resin with the request? Get close to the resin and use the mouse to check. Choice will lead to consequence, so please consider wisely. Dear leader, I love forests too much to look at the grass and flowers. If you build a gathering camp and assign me to the city, I'll work hard to gather resources for the city. Don't worry, I'll only gather the fully grown ones so they will not be harmed. Would you please, for me and the city- Oh, this is adorable. Oh my god, this is so cute. D, thank you for the six spots. Oh, Koidi, oh, Koidi. Give you a bit of membership. Haha, <laughs> I guess you still have some free time, or we just need one- e Needed one just in time. Okay, mission. Build a gathering camp. Reward all. Happiness. Plus three for 24 hours. All right. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, this is the option that you can choose. So if you say, haha, I guess you still have some free time. You're like being mean. And then Leah loses happiness for 24 hours. But yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Build a gathering camp. Research desk and use F. All right, research. You've already seen all these before, right? Okay, where's the gathering camp again? Gathering, gathering camp? Oh, it's already unlocked. Okay, build, production, laboratory, no, uh, all materials, gathering camp. I guess I'll put one there. <laughs> I'm not sure where to build these things. Okay, let's let's carve this path down a little bit more so it's easier to walk. And then let's break this apart a little bit. So it like clears up the area. I I think. Ice Lena, hello, thank you for the super. I'm on a quest to boop every hollow star. You make number four. Thank you, a super key so far. Boop. Thank you. Oh wait, I also has a request. Dear leader, living in the city is a great blessing and joy life. Speaking of which, actually I'm not enjoying it at all. If you provide us with something to enjoy, we will work harder for the glory of the city. Oh, they want us to build a circus? Okay, let's build a circus. Build a circus stand. Okay, wait, so I'm, I'm gonna let them build the gathering thing on their own. Circus stand. Wait, I think they have to research first, right? So research... Circus stand. Is there a way to search for that? Um... 
Circus, circus, circus. Weaving mill, butchery, masonry, pharmacy, kiln, grinder, grill, tannery, uh, school table, circus stand. Research is 2.6. Okay. Nice. This is really cute chat. Oh my god, this is adorable. Okay. Go, Nancy, go. Um. Event result. Wait, hold up. I have to assign. Some structures have additional options such as affecting area. Check with the Q and R. Uh, who's the one that wanted me to work on this? Was it Nancy? Uh. Oh no. Leia, Leia. Okay, Leia was the one. Alright, Leia. Uh, Leia, Leia. Here we go. Assign. Assigned to the gathering camp. Okay, good. Do we want Lena to also work with it? You know what? Let's go with that. Okay. Um, work. <gasps> In production and gathering structures, you can designate various resources as needed. If you specify multiple resources, it will produce those items sequentially. As you can see in the resource information window, the same resource can be made from different materials. If material resources are insufficient and do not meet the set task conditions, it will produce the next next designated item. If there's no possibility to produce anything, please be aware that it will carry out general commands. Ooh. Okay, I want you to collect wheat, grass, and flowers. Because I think that's what's around here. So wheat, grass, and flowers like up here, I guess they'll automatically collect those. Why are they just chilling? Oh no, they're sleepy. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> oh no, we need to get them a bed. Um, let's see, build, service, circus stand. Okay, let's get this one built first. Uh, planks. Okay, good. Planks are done. So, build, service, circus stand. Got these here. Oh my goodness, this is a huge one. Okay, we gotta find some space to build the circus thing in. I guess we could build it like right here? Uh, or like down here maybe? Oh, even the rabbits are sleeping. New migrants have arrived. Wait, no. Hold up, there's too many people. <laughs> There's too many rats. <laughs> okay, let me clear out this little area right here. So that we can build a circus in this little area. Okay. Alright, clear this little segment out. Hanabis, hello. The kid was cute, but not as cute as Puniko. Have a nice stream. I'm gonna go back to the but Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for the super. Have a good luck. Have a good luck. Oh, the rabbit hole here blocks the building of it. Okay, okay. All right, there we go. Let's go get the more migrants. We also need to find beds. Oh, look at him go. That's so cute. Okay, check migrants. Grain? No, more. We need to max out the population. Florer. Minus five happiness when slept on a bed. Oh, so you like sleeping on the ground. Okay. You know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. More. We have 10 out of 20 now. Oh my god, this is so good. I love this. Okay. I also need some rats to gather the tree. Because we need to get some more logs to turn into planks. God, they're so cute. Then he just likes floor time. Okay, let's get the dirt. And then we need two planks and two dirt. Wait, there's more? Ooh. Sand. Oh, there's a cactus down here. What? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
Chat, there's too <laughs> There's so much. There is so much. Okay, I can't move through there, so I can build. The atmosphere around the city is unusual. Be careful. What does that mean? Wait, what does that mean? What do they mean the event? What do they, what do they mean the atmosphere about it is unusual? Wait, we finished the quest. Uh... Oh, you can see... <laughs> you can see the... You can see the rats using the toilet. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Um... Oh my god, you can actually hear them using the toilet. That's kind of gross. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and build some beds for them. Because I think they're just kind of like... Passing out on the ground right there. So I want to clear out this little area. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. We do need the rocks and the grass in this area, so... It'll be good. I wonder if there's a way we can have the rats clear it out, like demolish. Oh no, that's destroying the structure. It can only be given to artificial buildings. Okay, okay. So we can't do that. Hmm. Mine. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Radisons should be could be isolated, or the basic structure could be destroyed. Okay, so we gotta be careful not to get too far, but. If we did this way? We should clear out this entire area. Look at him go! Oh my god. Look at him go, Chad! Oh wait, we have more Vatizens! More Vatizens! More Vatizens. Okay, okay. More, more, more. Yes! Okay, we have 12 out of 20. Alright. Okay, as we clear this out, we have to go and build some beds for them. Service? Oh, we have to research beds first. Okay. Research beds. Research beds. Research. Uh, s bed. Personal bed for Radisson can lay emergency patients on it too. Soft bed. Wait, bunk bed? This will save a lot of space. Okay, we'll do bunk bed. Alright. Research points are running out. In addition to new resources, research points can be produced by building a laboratory. Oh, we're gonna build a laboratory to get research points too. Okay, what do I need to build a lab? Service? Toilets, you can stand? No, production. Laboratory. <gasps> Wait! Radisons get paid wages? Radisons assigned to this structure gets paid every day. 200 gold, they get paid? Where's the money coming from? I don't know who's making the money, but how are they getting paid? 200? A day? Only one can exist in the whole city. Requires a worker. Wait, what? Oh. Oh my god, that's huge. Oh wow, that's big. Okay, let's we'll clear out some more space for that. Uh, how do I, how do I move down again? Because we can't move straight down. Wait, we can just use ladders, right? So we can break this. Oh no! <laughs> they can't path. They can't climb this area here. Okay, okay. Build. Base. Ladder. Like that. And then I'm going to hope that they build the ladder for us so we can get out of here. There we go. <laughs> Do the rats unionize? <gasps> uh, oh shoot. Oh no. What the? How do- Wait, how do I- f Wait, how do I fight? Plate. Oh no. Uh, it's a- It's a digging rat. Weirdly acting rats are approaching the city. Draw your weapon with shift and do some interactions with the invaders. <gasps> oh! There we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Are there more? Oh, over here. Get him, get him, get him. There we go. Okay, okay, good, good. 
what? Zombie rats? Like plague rats? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this game is so involved. Okay, let's put the sword away. Invasion has been successfully thwarted. Oh. Okay. Uh, we're gonna mine. I'm gonna ask him to mine another layer here. Like that. I wonder if you can train your rats to become soldiers so that they can also defend. Okay, bunk bed is done. Build. Base. Bunk bed. Two by three. Structures have the option to QR before placing blueprints. So for example, when you place beds, you can set auto or manual assignments. Auto. Oh! <gasps> okay. We're gonna clear this one out first. Like that. And then we'll build base, bunk beds, auto assign. One, two. Three. Okay, there we go. So now they have all beds? Okay, they need grass and they need planks. We're making planks over here. <gasps> New migrants have arrived. More workers. Okay. Alright, keep we're gonna keep doing more of this. 14 out of 20 rats. Okay, 14 out of 20 rats. Prosperity level 2 accomplished. I don't know what that means. The city is blooming with prosperity. Settlement turns into Hamlet. New blueprints unlocked. Codestone. Policies, I can have a maximum of 2. Population limit goes to 40. I can have 40 rats? Oh my god. Is there is there a way to get more rats to come sooner? We can have forty rats. As more bats gather, the pol num the need of policies to rule them grows. Total freedom could be an option too, but building a code stone to legalize policies might be a better choice. With the code stone, various policies can be set to rule the city easier. So try please try using it. Okay, build royal code stone two by four. Oh, it. it Oh, it's tall. Oh, it's very tall. Uh... I don't need this tree, right? Do I need the tree? Here, I'll plant this here. And they'll, they'll automatically dig this area out. But then at the same time, I also need to build ladders to get up and down either side of it like this. This tree will die because it has no supports, but that's okay because I'm assuming this is all wood that we can get here. More beds. More beds. I can have 40 rats. Sounds so funny out of context. Wait. More bunk beds. Oh no, we're out of planks. Okay, we need to build... Build... Uh, raw materials? No, production. Sawmill. We need to build another sawmill because we need to increase our... Like that? But then also we have to clear out this area and then connect it by building a ladder on this square. Like that. So we clear out this area so we have like three sawmills going. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at him go! Oh no, the ones down here are trapped, they can't path. Quick, build the ladders. Use at Codestone to clarify the policies for the city. Wait, I, I should also clear out this area too, just so I can get through it. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> oh my god, I love like the automation here, this is so good. Oh. Oh, they, they recover sleep so much quicker than just falling asleep on the ground. Plus two. Oh, wow. Oh my god, I love this. 40 rats, that's twice as many as 20. 
Okay, I have to move the toilet away because they're, they're just pooping here. Okay, we go down here. Legislate. <laughs> You can activate various types of policies. For example, you can tax radisons with the tax laws. With commercial laws, you can encourage or prohibit radisons to consume certain products or services. Using welfare, 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 welfare laws will allow you to relieve the poor or enrich radisons' living standards. If you want to restrict when the citizens work or rest, use labor laws to set schedules based on time of day. Activated policies are applied at a very specific time every day. Try to establish rightful laws and lead the city towards an ideal state. Tax law. Conditions can be set to impose taxes on radisons are levied at midnight and they must be collected directly from each radisson. Unpaid taxes continuously accumulate. Unpa accumulated taxes are collected all at once when collecting taxes. Be careful if taxes accumulate excessively as radisons may run out of money after tax collection and face difficulties. <laughs> Problems arise if taxes are too low or too high. It is advised to find the right amount of tax for various... Oh my... What? Okay. Uh, the This is the rat tax. Okay, we'll just do the first one. Type. Civil tax? Charge a tax on the radisons every certain amount of time. Charge a tax to use a structure. Charge a tax to consume resources. Oh my god, what the heck? Why is this so involved? Okay, a civil tax. We'll select a civil tax. Every day? No, let's do like every week, all right? Every seven days. All the Radisons? Yeah, every single Radisons. Uh, yeah, every Radisson. Class, the poor, the middle, the high, oh my god. Tax amount, what? Um, five percent of your wealth, <laughs> or we could set an income tax. Our our city isn't that big yet, so like we don't even have that kind of stuff yet. So I guess for now we'll just have like a baseline of five, like every day. It doesn't matter who, because everyone is poor. But like once we have a, gr a thriving city and like different classes, then we can start to like tax depending on other things. Okay, bro. Thank you for the 13 months. Kind of fall situation. We're talking about taxes in Ratopia. It's like my dreams for work. should be lullaby street coagulating. <laughs> Thank you so much for reaping the membership. Okay, okay. Hope you get some good nights, good sleep, good dreams. <laughs> How well versed are you in rat economics? I am not. I am not. Okay, we're gonna set a flat tax of five gold coins. Activated. Okay. Uh, like, okay, so like, I, I, this is called this like the basic tax. I, I want the, hmm, like flat five. Flat five gold. I, I guess? Flat five gold. This way I can tell, like when I see this, I'm like, okay, it's a flat tax of five gold every seven days for all the members. Confirm. Apply. Yeah, this way, because like if we have a whole bunch of politics, like politics, yeah, I'll, I'll get, I can change it later, right? Commercial law. You can legally change factors related to consumption of radisons. You can change the price of labor or wages to make it possible to consume the items that couldn't be consumed due to class restrictions. Commercial law is really useful, but it is advised to set carefully considering the economic level of radisons and the necessity of consumption. Okay, so like food tax is probably a bad idea. Um, I think we'll just... We'll, Exit. We don't need commercial laws right now. Welfare law. Various subsidies can be prov provided to radisons. Unlike taxes, subsidies need to be do not need to be delivered individually. They are directly transferred from the savings. Decide to whether to provide regular subsidies or grant subsidies based on certain goods. Although subsidies are considered income, please consider that they are delivered after tax calculations at midnight. What the heck? What is this? 
Why is this so complicated? <laughs> oh my god. Periodic subsidy? Okay, uh... I... <laughs> Here, we'll... This is, this is a Rattopia, right? So we're gonna have universal income for everybody. All the rats. Periodic subsidy. Supports regularly. Okay. Amount. Everyone gets... I don't know how much is a lot or a little. I don't know. Everyone gets five gold. I guess it'll be the taxes, right? And then standard. Everyone gets it. Class. All the classes. Cycle. Every... Wait, but then that just kind of cancels out with the tax, right? So... Uh... Like... I, do we lose money too often? Okay, every five days, they get five gold. And then every seven days, they collect some taxes for them. But do they all have jobs? I don't know if they have jobs or not. You know what? Here, wait. Oh, this is the last one. Legislate. Labor laws. Oh my god, there's so much. <laughs> Under labor laws, you can set Madison's work schedule and adjust the priorities. For work schedules, you can enforce specific times for working, sleeping, resting, etc. Prohibit execution of certain commands or prioritize them over others. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know. Basic labor law. Labor law. Confirm. Managing schedule. Standard for everyone. No, wait. For everyone who has a job. Uh, schedule. Every single day. Time period. Wait, what? Oh, it's a daily schedule. Okay, so... From midnight to 3 a.m. is free time. Free time, free time. Okay. I guess we'll do like a regular week. Okay, no. Uh, from midnight to six is sleep time. Until nine. So everyone gets nine hours of sleep. And then... Work? Work time. Work from nine to... to noon. And then until 3 p.m. Until 8 p.m.? And then free time afterwards. I guess? Restricts Radisson's actions to labor and occupational activities. Prioritize what they need. There we go. I guess? Yeah, mandata mandated nap time. You must sleep during the midnight hours. Okay, we'll do that. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. Priority. Lower the number, the higher the priority. Okay, it's a very high priority. Apply and exit. Okay. There we go. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> They're all sleepy right now because it's time to naps. Okay, so soon they will wake up and then soon they will start to work. But we need to give them like jobs and stuff. Okay, internal conflict. What? There's internal conflict? Okay. Bunk beds. More. One. No, we don't have enough resources. <laughs> They're just chilling. Okay, maybe okay, maybe the maybe the labor law doesn't work. Maybe the labor law doesn't work yet because we don't have any like we don't have enough jobs for them. So labor law will deactivate this one for now. Deactivate. Okay, so let's pause at the moment, just so that we can have everyone, like, work and do their own thing. So as soon as... Are they just... More migrants? Uh-oh. Wait, chat, our happiness is dropping. <laughs> do they have staggered schedules? Maybe. Um... No, we want to max out our, our city more. More, more. Let's go. Maybe they're resting? Maybe. Do you know prosperity? 
Dear leader, your city is growing. I'm so proud of you. With that in mind, do you know about the prosperity level? By measuring the city's wealth, Radisson's living standard, and the structures build, the city's prosperity can be measured. So setting a goal to reach the next level might lead you, lead, help you lead the Radisons better. I believe in you. Sincerely, Scout. Accomplish? Okay, so we got to get to three. Plus three happiness within 24 hours. Okay. Uh, we need to assign efficiency. Wow, look at that. 130%. Wait, this one needs to be assigned. Uh, deactivate due to no assigned citizens. Wait, I wanted to do this automatically. Wait, how do I? Oh no, this bunk bed was changed. I shouldn't have done this. No. Okay, wait, hold up. Sorry, demolish. That. We gotta change this so the bunk beds are all auto. Okay, while that one's being taken down, let's go ahead and assign someone else to the sawmill. 125. Okay, we'll put Stephanie in here. Alright. And then... Build. Base. Bunk bed. Uh-oh. Wait, we gotta collect that. Oh, okay, so the... Materials need to go back into storage first before they're uh, valid materials for building. Little bunk bed, okay. Set to auto. One, two. There we go. We need more beds, chat. We need more beds. <laughs> um. Oh. It's time to collect some taxes. Isn't it hard going around collecting tax every time? There'll be a lot of taxes that are not paid without knowing. Why don't you build the tax office and let the Vatisons collect their own taxes? Wait, that makes so much more sense. Build a code stone and build a tax office. Okay, we gotta build a tax office now. Wait, do we have to research the tax office? Uh, service? I don't have a tax office. Oh my god. More beds for EV maxing. <laughs> that's, that's such a cute way to say it. <laughs> okay, research. Service? Tax? Gathering? Uh, royal? Tax? Office? Maintenance? Diplomatic? Shrine of Dog? Tax office? Oh my god. Uh, do we have enough research points? Oh, we do, we do, we do. Okay, so we research the Radisson Register first. And then after that is finished, just, uh... Once that is finished... Oh, they're falling asleep over there. The structure lacks resources. Please trick the structure and solve the issue. Oh no, wait. Gather the tree. Gather this tree. Um... Gather that tree too. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, Jack. <laughs> oh no. The, the difficult parts start to kick in. Trying to balance everything. Yet yeah, they must pay the rat taxes. Radisons in need of joy. Eight of them need joy. Radisons in need of rest. One. Okay. We'll, we'll get the tax one first and then we'll help them th learn joy. Okay. That's research. Now we get to research royal tax office. Perfect. Okay. While tax office is researching, um, we have gotta go. Oh, we have to assign someone to this. Uh, Ivy. There we go. Joy twenty three. Should, should we get more? Do we need more fun things? Um. What, where's a good spot to build again? We need more space. But we also need more beds. How many beds do we have? We have 10. But we have 16 rats. Okay. Uh, mine? If I did this, will they fall and die? I feel like this is a little dangerous. Maybe, maybe not. Wait, no, 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 no. 
Uh, can cancel that order. Cancel this one. Okay. <laughs> I don't want them to actually dig straight down and fall and get hurt. Okay. Uh, build base ladder. Fill up this space here. Like that? More migrants have arrived. Okay. More migrants. Okay, more of this. 18 rats. 18 rats, chat. Um. Uh. Okay, here. We'll build this way. So that we can get... Mine out all of this. Like, wait, no. We don't want people to fall down there. Like that. We can clear out this area and start building more stuff here. And then... Uh... Build. Base. Ladder. We'll build a ladder here, like that. Can they even reach that? I don't know if they can reach it. We'll do it this way? Oh, this is so cute! <laughs> oh, that is adorable! Is that is that bringing happiness up? I don't know if that's bringing happiness up for the whole city. Okay, we gotta build a tax office though. Do we do we have it researched yet? Bill, royal, tax office, two by two. We'll build it right there. Okay. Oh, poor Hannah. Okay. Build base bunk beds. More beds for that. More beds. There we go. Okay, um... Let's carve our way into the tree. And then we can use this area to like, build more. Just like a straight shot all day across. <gasps> Research point get, plus one happiness. Let's go! Wait, this is really cute. I love this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. And then we can build like a new layer here. Wait, uh, we should cancel this here and instead build base dirt block. Use dirt block to build a new layer right there like that. This? Yeah. Oh, hey Altair. Hello. Good to see you. Wait, hold up. Uh, Wait, no, I need to have at least one layer of dirt, right? So. How's it going, Altair? Thank you for the raid. Okay, wait, cancel all of this. Cancel all of that. Because I have to build one layer down. Uh, dirt block. I'm gonna build one layer down. Like this. And then we can build more bunk beds here. It's slime time. Hey. How was the how was the stream? I it was poppy playtime, right? How was it? I I have not played that one my myself yet, so I don't know how good of a game that is. He screamed, nice. Kismet, hello. Thank you so much for the gifted membership. Okay, we're gonna assign Bella to be the tax collector. Wage one hundred and fifty. Workload acquired two hundred. Let's go! <laughs> much scrappy, much poppying. Nice. Love to hear that. Let's go. Pro gravity on the propane tank. <laughs> Alright, more bunk beds. More places to sleep. There we go. We need more workers, chat. We need more. Poppy playtime, Lord goes hard. There's lore for Poppy Playtime? Ooh. More migrants. Let's go. 20 out of 40 rats. Gather. All that. Gather the tree too. We need to keep gathering trees. Gather. Gather all of this too. Oh my god, chat. This is amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> Uh, we 
should build like a ladder here, I think. Build, base, dirt block. Like that. I guess. And then we can also... Wait, once we get this... We'll build some more bunk beds here too. Which also means we gotta go extend the ladder down this way now that there's a platform here. And then with that, mine out this entire area. And then this is safe. Continue to mine here. That. Leah, what do you want? Poppy playtime is way more mature than you'd expect, even compared to other masculine horrors. Ooh, can you destroy the tombstone with your sword, or are you having to work around it? I don't know. We'll find out. Dear leader, I was walking through the forest and found a pile of grain. This must be salvation of the great forest pitying us. Let this grain be used for food and feed the medicines. I shall not take the belongings of the unknown. Minus one happiness, or thank god for 20. Okay, we'll take it. I... Was that it? We just got 20 grain like that? Nice! Okay. Uh, how do I... Sword? Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Wait, wait. There's monsters that come out of the grave if you don't. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, there's so many monsters. I, I'm not sure if I can kill it fast enough. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh no, wait, they're cute. They're really cute though. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Wait, wait. Oh no. It's all over you all you need to take care of yourself more. Take your rest on the royal bed. Wait, wait, no. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't don't hurt it. Don't hurt it. Don't hurt it. Oh my god. We're stuck here, we gotta get out, we gotta heal up. Alright, break this down. Okay, now we can get out. Ooh. Okay, we gotta sleep on the royal bed though. Uh, Bill, royal, royal bed. Not enough resources, we need fabric. I need to make fabric, oh god. Internal conflict. These beds aren't assigned. Assigned medicine. Okay, Amy, you can sleep in this bed here. Uh, Elisa, you can sleep in that bed there. Water. What? Oh, you can turn them into like little water, water drop, like actual just water. Okay, cool. More migrants, more migrants. There we go. 22 rats. I, I realize I don't know if we have... Oh my god. The water physics too. Wait, the water physics. Like, look at the water like coming down here. What? Wait, why is this so complicated? <laughs> Okay, do we have enough beds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beds. That's 16 total beds. We have 22, so we need to build a few more beds. Base, bed. 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. And we should have enough for additional migrants as well. Let's go! Also, we should harvest this wheat here. Uh, I kind of want to see if I could change this to like the dirt blocks. Is that safe? Will it break? Build base dirt block. If I do this, is that safe? Or will, will it destroy the beds on top of it? I guess we'll find out. Oh, lots of internal conflict. The base... The bed has not broken, but it's... Oh, it's it's just grayed out. It's just grayed out. So if this build, it should come back, right? It does come back. 
<gasps> okay, okay, okay. Uh, Bill, base, dirt block. All of that. And like support it all with the dirt block. There we go. There we go. I don't know what they mean when they have internal conflicts. Madison's in need of joy. Okay, we need to make more joy. Build. Service. Uh, uh, another circus stand? Wait, why are we building down? We can build up too, right? Build. Base. Ladder. Up. Up one more. And then from there, we can build dirt blocks that go like that. And then we can build more things on top of it. Yeah, why were we building down constantly? We can just build up too. There's like a ton of space up here too. Like, look at that. <gasps> Let's go. Oh my god, I love the sounds of automation. This is so oh my god, Chad. Oh, okay, we need to move the we need to move the poop toilet. Like I don't want to hear the poop sounds. <laughs> Circus stand. Oh, we can't build it here. We gotta build it on a four by three. Yeah, we can just keep building up. Like there's there's nothing stopping us. New migrants have arrived. Quick, more mi please stop pooping. Okay, more migrants, more. All right, uh, build. More ladders. Up. Keep going up. We can keep going up, chat. Okay, one, two, three, four. Which means we should be able to build the circus stand. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, we can bring happiness back up. We're at 40 for happiness. I haven't even been paying attention to money. Our money's going up and down. Oh my god, chat. Oh my god. This is so... I love this. I love this. This like base management, city management. Gather tree, gather tree. Uh, gather all of this. Should we build more circuses? I don't know how many circuses we need. I got... Oh man. Okay, wait, we can build another, we can build another circus stand. There, more happiness, more happiness. Okay, assign Adam, you have a job now. This is so much fun. Oh my god. Okay, okay, and from here, we're gonna build more dirt blocks back. Oh, you might need more than one toilet. Oh my god, that's right. Uh, services. Toilets. We'll, we'll do it that way. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, wait. Chad, I totally forgot. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Chad. We have a meeting. <laughs> Wait, no, the boys and I have a meeting. We have to go to a meeting. <laughs> I was so distracted by this. Oh no, I'm so sorry, chat. Wait, I'm gonna... Quick, quick, sign, sign. No, oh my god. I'm so sorry, chat. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to pick this up later. We're gonna have to pick this up later. Okay, I have to go to a meeting though. Okay, uh, yeah, I just got paid, so... Wait, oh no, sorry chat, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I kept seeing messages, I'm like, who is sending me messages? Like, why are we constantly getting paid? What's going on, right? And I was like, oh, wait, that's right, we have a meeting right now. Um, I'm like five minutes late, I'm so sorry. Okay, oh my god. Wait, wait, but this is so much fun. I... Chat, no. You know how much I love automation in this game. <laughs> Okay, okay. I have to go. Um, wait, can I send you off on a raid to someone who's streaming right now? Oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay, okay. Uh, no one is up. Uh, oh god. Uh, it. Okay, it looks like Robin is by is doing Shinkansen Zero. 
uh, in about an hour from now, so I'll send you over to Roberto Senpai's uh, waiting room. Thank you all for stopping by, everyone. I'm so sorry I had to cut it so short. Um, I didn't realize it was like such an involved base building game. There's so much I want to go back to it. I want to make like tax policies and like income laws and and like I don't know. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I want to learn more of it. <laughs> And it's so cute too. Wait, I want to do a new save. I want to. I want to start a new level now that I know I can just like build all over the place, however I want. I want to rebuild. I want to like start, like, you know what I'm trying to say, right, Chad? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I gotta go. I gotta go. Bye bye, everyone. Quiet, CV. Quiet, CV.